I was out of town when this released, but Mistral AI team is back again with another big update. Introducing Codestral. This is Mistral AI's new coding model. Codestral is an open weight generative AI model that's specifically designed for code generation tasks. It helps any developer write and interact with code through a shared instruction and completion API endpoint. It could be used to design generative AI applications for software developers, or it could be used for basic code generation. It's an LM fluent in 80 plus programming languages, which hasn't been seen before, such as Python, JavaScript, you have C, C++, Java, as well as Bash and so many more things. Now, what makes this model so much better than others? Well, it's a 22 billion parameter model that is outperforming Code Llama as well as the new Llama 3 model in various categories. But something more interesting coming out of this model is that it has the ability to be your own software developer, meaning that it will auto generate code for you in certain segments and it will even self correct itself with its mechanism that has been built in to assist you in better generation. Now, just take a look at this demo video, which is going to showcase another cool feature of Codestral, which is the inference speed. You can see that it automatically generates whatever code that you ask for within a couple of seconds. Whereas GPT-4 Omni on the left hand side is taking its time to generate the code. This is a really cool prominent feature of Mistral's new model, Codestral, which is their inference speed. And you can see that it does a great job in generating the code for you within a couple of seconds. And this is one of the cool features of it. Now, this is just one feature out of so many other things that we're going to be taking a look at throughout today's video. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned as we showcase some tests with Codestral, as well as showcasing how you can get started. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Codestral. As we talked about before, it's fluent in 80 plus programming languages and it's specifically designed for developers as well as people who want to have their code generated with the help of AI. Now, they have many cool new features where it can help developers write the code automatically as a self-correcting feature within its model, which is like a built-in mechanism that will auto-correct the code for you. You also have the ability to interact with the code through a shared instruction and completion API endpoint. It's quite proficient in both code and English, but it can also be used to design advanced AI applications. This is something that many large language models try to accomplish, but they fail to do so. In this case, this model is able to do so, and I want you guys to take a look at this video, which will showcase this. Now, this is a video by Shubham Sabu, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. And he did a great job in showcasing how you can build a large language model app with RAG to chat with PDFs using Mistral AI's Codestral. And this is within like two minutes. You can see that you have this app fully functional where you can upload PDFs. And with Mistral AI's Codestral, you can see that from a simple English prompt, you can go to a fully working Python application within a couple of seconds. Whether you want to build a sophisticated large language model app with RAG, to chat with PDFs, or you want to streamline other coding tasks, you can do so with Codestral, and it makes it possible, super easy, and you can access it right now. Now, one thing I want to know out of this feature where it's prevalent in 80 plus programming languages is that it is also specialized with Swift as well as Fortran. This is something that many large language models fail to do so, and this is an important key feature where it's going to be prevalent in code generation between those two languages. And this is something that will be helpful for a lot of developers. You also have the ability to interact with 80 plus programming languages, such as the main ones like Python, Java, C++, and so many others. But now it's more prevalent in newer languages, as well as languages that we tend to use more often. This is going to allow for proficiency in various languages, and it's going to assist you in various coding environments and projects. You can also see that it's going to also save you a lot more time 
and code functions where you're going to be able to generate the writing tests, filling in partial code, as well as so many other things within this built-in mechanism where CodeShell is going to have the best, fastest inference in any large language model. And you can interact with CodeShell where it will enhance your coding skills as well as reducing the risk of errors within its self-correcting feature. So they have released the 22 billion parameter model and it sets new standards in the performance and latency speed for code generation compared to other previous models such as Code Llama, you have Deep Sea Coder, as well as Llama 3, 70 billion. This is a 22 billion parameter model with a 32k context length, which is awesome for code. In this figure over here, you're going to be able to see that with this larger context window compared to the 4k, 8k, and 16k for competitors, you can see that it outperforms all the models in Repo Bench. You also have the human evaluation, and you also have a long range evaluation for code evaluation. You can also see that they compare CodeShell to existing code specific models with higher hardware requirements. So it's going to showcase its superior efficiency as well as its capability. They also did a good job in evaluating in different programming languages, such as Python, where they used four benchmarks to evaluate CodeShell's Python code generation. And you can see that it does a great job in most categories where it outperforms Code Llama, DeepSeek, as well as Llama 3. Now, if you take a look at SQL, they also did the exact same thing and it is doing a great job in various other benchmarks where its performance is excelling all these other benchmarks, especially in the spider benchmark. So now let's take a look at how you can install CodeStroll. Their model weights as well as their model has been uploaded on Hugging Face. So what you can do is copy the model card. You can go over to LM Studio. This is an application that will help you easily install any large language model locally on your computer. So what you can do is just paste in the model card into the search tab. You can click on go, you can click on compatibility guess, and you will be able to download this model. But say if you want to download the GGUF model, you can definitely do so by just typing in code stroll, click enter, and you will be able to find that version over here. Or you can click on it and then download the version that you want with the quant method. And then you can chat with it by selecting the model and you can start interacting with it on your local desktop. Something critical to note is that it's under the new Mistral AI non-production license. This basically means that you can use it for research and testing purposes. You can then also interact with it within LitChat, which is their chat interface, similar to ChatGPT's interface. But you can see that you can load it up by creating an account with Google or your GitHub or your email address. And once you have created your account, you can go to your workspace. You can then click on the model and select CodeStroll, and you can start generating things such as building build me a rag chatbot and then you can click enter within a couple of seconds you can see how fast it is and in this case it's not generating code because i didn't specify but let's do that there we go it generated me the code within a couple of seconds and it will showcase how you can basically set this up now take a look at this example where coastal is quite quick in generating html code and you can see that it's utilizing tl draw to help you with the real-time edits as well as the dashboards and creating the html sites and you can see that it utilizes python as well as javascript to do so and these are quite beautiful sites that have been created within a couple seconds you can see that there's real-time edits that can be made in this case you can have it so that it has animations has different sorts of playbacks and even has the ability to write different types of banners and buttons. And this is something that could be generated within a couple of seconds. Now, when the technical report is released, I'll definitely guide, let you guys know, and I'll leave a link to that on my Discord as well as my Twitter. But that's basically for today's video on CodeStroll. This is something that I definitely recommend that you take a look at. This is something that I would put on par with AutoCoder, which is another large language model that was recently released. And it did a great job in comparison to GPT-4 Omni. So these two are probably the best two coding large language models at this current moment, as well as GPT-4 Omni. But I definitely see that these three models are something that you should take a look at in this current week in the AI space. And that's basically it for today's video on CodeStroll. I will leave a link to all the things that I use in today's video in the description below. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some sort of value out of it. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon page if you want to access subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, which is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. 
But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.